What's going on guys, today we're gonna be showing you how to clean up your Windows 10 PC. I know we have made several other videos on a similar topic, but here we have a lot more new things to share with you, and guess what, it's worth watching. By doing this, you can expect a better performance, responsiveness, and of course a lot more free up space on your hard drives. So let's get started. Step number one, Windows settings, free up space. In this step, we're gonna show you how to free up your C drive space from your Windows settings. We all know normally your Windows 10 is installed into your C drive and if it's full or kind of out of space, you'll definitely experience lag related issues in a variety of ways. So in this step, we are going to clean your C drive using the Windows settings. It's a pretty simple procedure once you know how to do it. So let's get started. First you have to go to your start menu. Now click on the settings gear icon which will open your window settings. Now you have to go to the system settings, which is the first one. Now navigate to storage settings. And from here you have to click on the free up space now hyperlink, which will scan for all the unwanted or unnecessary files that you no longer needed on your C drive in a variety of categories. By default, they have been marked certain items to be cleaned as default. So what I'm suggesting you to get the maximum space from your C drive is to select each and every option listed here. Don't think twice, all of them are unnecessary jengs. Even we don't need the previous Windows files, unless if you want to go back to a previous Windows build. I have no plans to go back to a previous build, so if you're like me, you can select that box as well for cleaning. Once you did that, click on the remove file button up here on the top, and it will be cleaned within no time. Now check your C drive and let me bet you, you will at least see a free up space of up to 10 to 20 gigs. Here is the after and before screenshot of my C drive for a better understanding. Step number 2. Disk cleanup. The result of a disk cleanup process is a lot similar to what we have achieved with the previous step, because it also helps you to clean up the disk space by removing unwanted files from your hard drive. Just go to the start menu and search disk cleanup. Launch it and here you can see we have access to all the local disks on the computer, not just the C drive. And that's how it's differ from the previous cleaning process. Select each and every single local disk from here, one after another. For now I'll be showing you how it did with the single local disk. So pick one and follow me. Click OK and you will see this window. Now mark the files to delete, feel free to mark any. Now click on OK and hit delete which will clean the particular local disk or partition from those unwanted files and leave them with a lot more free up space. As I told you earlier, do the same process with all your other local disks as well to benefit the most out of it. Thank you. Step number 3. Clean larger files. In this step, we're gonna show you how to find and delete larger files on your computer that you no longer need it. I know it's possible to go and check up the file size of any file or folder within your Windows File Explorer. But it is very time consuming, hard to compare file sizes between each other and to get an overall look. But don't worry, we have a free tool called Tree Size Free. You can use this tool to find the larger files that take up more space of your hard drive capacity and it will let you delete them straight from your interface. But double check before deleting anything because if you delete anything by mistake, we will not be held responsible for your loss. Tree Size Free is an absolutely freeware. I will provide the link below in the video description. If you are interested, feel free to check it out. Once you installed, launch it. You can run the tree size free in two ways. You can either normally launch it from the start menu, but if you like a change, tree size free is also available all the time in your right click menu. Now you will see the tree size free window, but for more control, I recommend you to run it with admin rights. So click on the start tree size free as administrator button from the menu. Now we'll relaunch the program with admin rights as we need that. Now you can simply go to the scan tab and from here click on select directory then choose one of your local disks. As you can see it will show all the necessary information to find the larger files on the particular partition. So check them closely and if it's an unwanted file, feel free to delete it by right click and choose delete. If you want you can check the other local disks for the larger files if you have multiple partitions on your computer. Hope it's useful, so let's jump to the next one. Step number 4. Clean up bloatware. In this step, we're gonna show you how to remove the bloatware from your Windows 10. 
By definition, bloatware is an unwanted software included on a new computer or mobile device by the manufacturer. So hope you notice some unwanted apps on your start menu when you install your Windows 10 for the very first time. For example, the Xbox app on your start menu. Normally we can remove some bloatware without going for an unofficial way comparing to the previous builds of Windows 10. But still we can't remove some of them by the official way. Like we don't see an uninstall option if you right click on the Xbox app icon. So today I'll be showing you how to get rid of those unwanted bloatware that the Microsoft force loaded with their operating system by having the idea of milking you in future. We can use the command prompt to do it, but we found an easier way. Just use this tool, it's called 10 Apps Manager and it is a portable one. Means you can run the app without installing it on the system. Just download it from the link which I provided on the video description and you will get a compressed or zip file. Extract it, open the 10 App Manager folder, double click on 10AppManager.exe file and it will run the tool. As you can see here you have an option to uninstall all the bloatware but I don't recommend that. Only uninstall the most unuseful or rarely using apps or bloatware and you can do that by just clicking on the particular app and from the dialog box click yes. Now you will receive a success message and there we go now you have successfully uninstalled your first bloatware on Windows 10. So take your time and find and delete every other unnecessary bloatwares. Step number 5 Tall PC Cleaner For additional cleaning of unnecessary files you can use the Tall PC Cleaner. It is a Microsoft Store app and you can get it for free. Just use the link below. Once you get it, it will ask you to confirm your system disk, which is normally would be your C drive. Nothing complicated, it is just asking you to confirm your Windows installed partition. So click continue, choose your system drive, click select folder and there you go. Now you will see this window. It is a pretty straightforward procedure from here on, but for the sake of the video, let me explain a little more. Click on start scan and it will scan your C drive for unwanted files in the following categories such as system cache, application cache, mail cache, office cache, browser cache, downloads, large files that are greater than 100 MBs. And once it's finished, it will show you the result. You can see the details such as how much files it's found in those following categories as well as the total sum appear on the top. From this point, it's just a matter of choosing the category it found the files on and click on clean. Now we'll be cleaning those files from your computer within no time. Hope you like this one, so let's take a look at the next one. Step number 6. Uninstall Space Hungry Applications In this step, we're gonna show you how to eliminate large programs such as games or applications that you no longer need there. And by doing that, you can free up a lot more space and of course free up some of your system resources as well, which will definitely cause better performance. So let me show you how to do that. Go ahead and launch your start menu and from here you click on the gear icon which will get us into the windows settings. From here you're gonna need to go to the apps menu. Now you will see all these installed apps and programs and games on your entire computer. So keep a close look and find every unfunded or rarely using programs or games. And once you've found it, click on the particular one and you will see the uninstall button, click on it which will show you another uninstall button besides the warning message. Click on that as well and follow the on-screen instructions and you're done. Now you have successfully removed the particular program or game from your computer which both removes the related info and the program itself. Do this to every other program or game that you no longer needed on your apps and features tab and I bet you, you'll find your computer a lot better than before. Step number 7. Duplicate Files Removal In this step, we're gonna show you how to find and delete every duplicate files on your Windows 10. And for that, you don't have to manually search for each and every duplicate files. Instead, you can use a software called Dupe Guru. It's free and you'll find the link below in the video description as always. Once you're on the Dupe Guru, go ahead and click on the plus button which will allow you to select a folder local disk to scan for duplicate files. I recommend you to add local disk or a folder or locations because it will scan the entire partition and find every duplicate files existing on it. Now click on the plus button again and add the next partition or local disk and repeat the same step until you add all the local disk or partitions in case you have multiple partitions available on your computer. 
That way we can find literally every duplicate files on your computer without even skipping a single location. Once you made your selection, click on scan and it will start searching for the duplicates. It might take a while depending on your hard drive capacity and the file size acquired by the partition. Anyway, once the scanning is finished, it will show you the result. Now check the dupes only box and it will only show you the duplicate files of their original ones. If you want, you can check through the duplicate files list manually and select a file which you want to delete or you can click some empty space inside the list and press Ctrl plus delete keys on your keyboard to select all the dupes at once. Now go to the action tab and choose the option remove mark from results and you will get a warning message. From here choose yes and there we go. It is deleting all the duplicate files on your computer or from the particular location or partition you have chosen for the scan. Hope this will give you an additional free up space on your hard drives and that's another way to get some more free up space. Step number 8. Stop unnecessary startup programs. With this step, I'm gonna show you how to stop unnecessary startup programs and by doing this, you can achieve a better boot time and overall system performance because of fewer programs running in background and Windows don't have to start unnecessary programs when it boots up. So let me show you how to do that. First, you're gonna need to open your task manager and you can do it by simply right-clicking on an empty space on your taskbar and from this menu, choose Task Manager. Once you're in the Task Manager, navigate to the Startup tab and there you will find the startup programs which are the programs or services that are set to launch in the background every time you start your Windows 10. So go ahead and choose every unnecessary startup program that you don't want running in your Windows background forever or you don't use that much. For example, let's highlight this one. Now click the disable button to disable the program from automatic startup. You can do this to every other startup programs which you think unnecessary or rarely using. But I don't recommend disabling everything, especially the Microsoft services like Windows Defender. And that's all you can do here. Hope you will get a better boot time and overall system performance from this step. Step number 9. Complete virus removal. By doing this step, you can make sure that your computer is not infected by any type of viruses. And if it does, it will show you how to remove it completely in order to make your computer extremely clean. It is not a fake promise, it can literally do it. For that, I have made a separate video which is how to remove any virus from your Windows 10 for free. It is explaining everything so deeply and yet it is a simple video to follow. Watch the video and follow the instruction and make sure your computer is virus free. I repeat again, it will work no matter any virus you have and how high the threat is. And of course, it is absolutely free as well. And there is no hidden charges. And that's all for today, time to wind up. Thank you for watching, if you found the content useful, please leave a like, subscribe and share. See you soon with another one, have a nice day.